Hey there guys, welcome back. Um, Harry here again. And I wanted to do a little tutorial video for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be basically telling you guys how to... Just turn the sound there, down there for you guys. How to use the editor. Um, because... Oh, there we go, fix that, sorry. Uh, just because you guys will not be able to hear me over the music. Um, because it's just too fucking loud. There we go. Um, so basically I'm going to teach you guys how to use the editor. Now obviously we've got Altis and Stratis, the two main maps. Um, Altis being uh, significantly bigger. Um, Altis stretches um, from one side of the map to the other usually is about 20 kilometers which will take you a good hour and a half to two hours to cross if you, probably even longer if you're running. I don't know by car but it will take you a long time. So, uh, I think what we'll do is we will, uh, Stratus is a little bit smaller. Now, Stratus was the uh, original map which they used in the Alpha, um, and basically that stretch is about, I think about 11, 12 kilometers. So you can tell that Altus is significantly bigger. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we are probably going to go onto some Altus, actually. Um, and I will show you guys how the editor works. Uh, I don't know if we'll come up with any sort of uh, mission, but I will try and show you guys some of the things that you can do within the editor. Um, now, the editor really is basically where you can create your own custom missions, which you can share with people on servers, um, if you have your own private server, or you can just make for your own pleasure, really. Um, I used to play a couple with my friends. Uh, we used to make, I made actually a nighttime uh, mission where basically you would stealth in with silenced uh, science guns and then you would shoot the enemies and take the points uh, when you did it you'd get an extraction and you complete the mission um, but basically we're going to do this at the airbase because I want to show you guys a lot of the things which you can do how to get certain things so um, when you start guys obviously you want to have your player in the game the person you're going to play as um, so what you need to do is obviously simple as double click and it will come up with this menu now all you need to do is you need to make sure that this is set to player now that will basically make it so you will play as that character when you spawn in but if you want to make a server level you will want to change that to playable if you want it to be where if you want it to be because when you enter a server you can freely switch between different classes so um, uh, rifleman or grenadier uh, explosive specialist all of that um, but if you're just playing uh, doing an editor which is what we're doing we're gonna make a player uh, we're gonna make him NATO um, now basically guys you've also got the ranking system now basically what this will do is if you have a squad um, basically if I ranked this guy as say low lieutenant okay um, and I place him if I placed somebody else uh, also you've got the degrees which you can make him face but if I uh, put somebody else down um, and put them as say a corporal um, this, well, that guy will have, um, this rifleman with, ha you would have, um, a ranking over him, meaning that you could actually tell him where to go, um, which I think you basically just click the, uh, full stop button above the delete on your number pad, um, and that should basically make it so you can click team, um, and basically tell the guy where you want him to go, you can make him move about 50 meters up, um, if you're doing a mission, uh, if you're playing with AI. Uh, but for now we're just going to put this uh, rifleman down. Um, now, also guys, what you can do as well is, um, if I didn't want, so say the rifleman has um, a certain gun which I don't want, if you want to put more selections of guns, obviously you can use gun crates. Now, the way to use these is you need to go onto empty. When you go into empty, you need to go into ammo, and it will come up with all the different weapons. So you've got the basic ammo for the AAF, the Caesar, and the NATO and then you can go to the explosive grenades and you can also go to the more advanced and special weapons which will consist of sniper rifles um, and different um, different types of scopes uh, like the ARCO um, so that's something you can also do another thing which you can also do is um, you can actually basically if I put down an AI so if we put down a, another rifleman um, basically what I can do is I could actually make him circle. So if I wanted to do a um, patrol, okay? So if I wanted to do a patrol, 
Um, basically what I could do is I could actually place this person here and to do a patrol you need to go onto this okay and basically make sure you have the that character selected which will obviously highlight him um, so what I could do is I could place a so if we zoom in a bit here because I don't want to make him circle too far we could put a um, let's put let's just make him go straight so you'll come up with this menu now you've got uh, all these different things, you've got the combat mode, the formation, you've got the speed, and you have the behavior and the condition. Now what these things do, well they will determine in the way that he patrols. So you could make it so he is uh, running in um, and he's got, um, he's going in to full charge um, in speed, and you could also make him so he is very aware or combat. Um, if you want it to be as though um, you're infiltrating and you want them to just walk, what you need to do is you need to go on to, um, in my opinion, I would go on to hold fire, engage at will, okay? Because it basically makes it so when you do alert them, they will just shoot. Um, then what you want to have on is column. Uh, then you want to have limited, and then put on, uh, I put on safe. In fact, no, put on, yeah, put on safe, I think. Uh, which will basically make it so they're basically controlling and you want to make sure that's on move um, yeah you want to make sure that's on uh, move okay um, and then I'll teach you what to do on the last one so what you're going to do is you're basically going to do that now if we want to circle so that's just made that feather player because uh, what that's done it's unfortunately done to that guy even though I highlighted him uh, so we put into player right okay Right, so we're on this guy. Um, and so now, if you want to make him walk, f uh, do circle, let's uh, put that there. Uh, put another one. Don't. And what you need to remember, guys, is you don't need to put any of this to what it was. Just leave it as no change, because it basically will keep it exactly the same. Okay? So we do this. Now, on the last one, you don't want to have that as move. This is the one you have to change. You need to change that to, if I can find it, you need to change it to cycle. What that will do is that will actually connect it, and he will keep circling that same route. Now, I'm going to try and make this route a bit smaller so you can see. Um, now, this should work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it should work. So, basically, well, it will work. Um, it will work. Uh, and basically what he'll do is he'll circle so hopefully he shouldn't take too long I may have to I may make him run but you'll see what he does so we'll spawn in now and uh, this should work here we go so if you look he's circling now so he's patrolling the area okay and he will circle this area until you until an enemy player alerts him um, and you can do this for any kind of basic sort of um, any stealth missions you want, uh, anything like that which you uh, want to do. Um, and he will circle, and as you can see, he's circling round, and he will carry on doing that. And you can actually hear him saying that he's going to move up. Um, so if you want to do any kind of patrols, that is a great way to do them. Okay? So uh, that's that. So basically, that's how you could create a patrol. Now, if you wanted to, you could do some other things. You could actually, if you want to, if, uh, another thing is also, guys, if you want to do big groups, um, of enemies, um, if you want to have a good couple of soldiers, um, a great thing to do is actually, instead of just using the single, because this will only put down a single player, uh, sing or a single character, if you want to put a, a number of them down, you want to click this, which obviously you can tell by the logo, will put down multiple. Uh, and what it will do is it will actually it will give you less of um, a selection because they are already sorted within the different forces. So if I go on infantry and I put on a rifle squad, um, we put it as NATO. Uh, obviously, you can change the way he's looking, so we'll make him so he's looking down the runway, and that will put down a whole number. So you've got the squad leader who will be ranked above all the rest. Now, that basically save you the trouble of having to put down a single character and make it so the process is quicker um, so if you look we'll go back into the game again uh, you'll see they are all in formation too so they are all now in formation okay 
Uh, and if you wanted to, you could change their formation. But what you need to do here, and we're actually going to abort again, and I'm going to show you what you need to do here. If you want them to not be in that formation, and say, uh, oh, there we go. Say I decide to put them on a straight line, uh, like so. So just do this. If I decide to put them on a straight line, what I could do is on all of them, you need to put them to none. And that will take them out of the formation. Okay? And make sure they are all like that. And when they are all like that, they should go into the line of which you have placed them. If you put them in formation, then they'll go into the formation of which they were placed in. Okay? Um, but if you do this, it will place them into that formation. It'll actually make it so they don't also go back to the formation as well. So hopefully... As you can see, they're now all... And they will run to the formation, but what it will do is, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit more life, I guess, to the thing, because you'll have them all, like, uh, patrolling on their own back into their positions again, uh, which is a cool little thing as well. Uh, it just adds a little bit more life instead of just spawning them there, and they're all in a triangle. It's kind of like they've moved to that position, and it could just add a little bit more life to any kind of mission that you make. Uh, it's a really cool little thing. Um... So yeah, so that's something else. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. I probably won't be able to cover everything in this vid, um, but this is just some of the basics uh, which you can do. And a lot of this will apply to anything else, such as tanks. Um, so I go into armoured and I put down, say, I put down a Scorcher. Um, in fact, no, we'll put down a... Let's put down a Marshal, okay? Uh, you could do the same thing, okay? You could basically get this, and you could do uh, a waypoint for it, so you could do uh, this, so obviously, column, whatever you want, uh, engage at will, uh, we'll put it to normal, um, and aware. You could, you know, make him do that kind of stuff, and he will circle on his own and he will patrol, patrol. I do recommend, though, make it a bit more spaced out, though, um, because they will stop and start the vehicles well and it could look a little bit weird if they keep you know driving then stopping for about a couple of seconds um and then obviously doing that so uh so as you can see it will cycle uh so i bring this guy over here and you can just move them around in any way you want to as well we bring oh well let's just bring all of them over here makes sense <laughs> don't even know what the hell i did there um but if you look he started driving so you can do it with any kind of thing vehicles uh, and as you can see he is now circling and patrolling as you can see but as you can see he will stop and start so we really want to do is you want to make the waypoints a little bit spaced out um, so say I want, you can make it so he goes from one end of the runway to the other and comes back again he'll keep controlling up this runway but this is basically he will keep patrolling uh, and you can do that for any kind of mission, but if you want to bring the missions to life, instead of just placing a character down, you can do all of this and create your own really cool mission. And it's a really, really, really cool thing to do, actually. It does uh, make it even better. Um, but yeah, guys, that's some of the other things you can do. Um, and also, guys, they have, for any people who uh, are wondering or anything like that, yes, all of the jets are in the game now. Um, they've brought in... Uh, some of the jets, if I can get an empty one here for you. Um, they've got the buzzards for the CAS and the AAF. Um, and they've got a couple of other helicopters and stuff. They've really added stuff into the game. I'll show you the jet now, uh, just before I go. So, turn that to non-playable. And it also, the fact that it's empty, also guys, there's nothing you can do. If you don't want to be actually spawned in the vehicle, you can put it to empty. And then when you spawn you can just get in the vehicle and that's really cool if you want to do a mission where you know you actually go to the vehicle instead of actually being or already being in the vehicle um i mean that's just if you want to go into more detail with it guys you don't have to but if you it, it depends how you want the mission to, to play out really if you want it to be a, uh, that kind of if you want it to be a proper mission like that then yeah uh, by all means go into more detail but this is really sort of the simple stuff so you guys can get an idea and get started. Uh, but I will show you the jet.
Um, if I can remember how to use it. Um, you actually can also. I mean, I just think that's really cool when you start. Um, actually forgot how to use it. I'm really sorry, guys. One sec. Actually forgotten how to use it. Now, also, guys, if you ever get into planes or helicopters and you're struggling how to use them, you can do tutorials, but if you want, just go into this and it will actually tell you. Cause, um, and I'm really sorry about this, guys, because actually they've recently changed. Um, it used to be Q to take off in helicopters and jets, but they changed it to left shift now by the looks of it. Um, and obviously I completely forgot because I haven't actually been on for quite a while. But uh, I did remember the stuff for the editor because I actually made a lot of cool missions with my friend. Uh, we did quite a bit. Uh, I made some pretty cool missions uh, that me and him used to play. Now uh, if you just wait for it. And then you can take off. As you can see the jets are working. Bring the flaps down, or whatever you want to do, and gear up, and you have your jet. And they're not too hard to fly now, you know, you can just do all sorts of jazz with them. And, you know, but that's it guys, so uh, thank you all for watching, I hope this helped you a little bit. Um, and I will bring, I will bring, uh, just, because um, uh, this is all fairly basic stuff, you guys want some more. I will bring another video on some more detailed things. Maybe I, I actually may bring a video where I actually make a mission for you guys. And then you can see how a lot of it will all work. But I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, but for now, guys, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I think there's no better way of exiting this video without doing a little bit of a suicide. Let's do a kamikaze. Here we go. Let's do this. Nothing but a barrel wall. Here we go. There you go. Sorted. Right then, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We took down the trees. Pretty good there. I hope this helped you. And um, I will see you all in the next one. See you later, guys.